gasoline I smell? Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you all are doing amazing as always and it's me Joe as always and today guys welcome back to the second episode of Monday's Killer News where I talk about stuff that happened in the world of horror in the past week and you know I talk about stuff that I found interesting and uh, let's just get into the first topic okay so the first topic is Scream 6. Now, Scream 6 is looking like that it's gonna be uh, a big cash cow for uh, Paramount because this movie looks like it's going to make a lot of money. Uh, now, uh, as of me recording this, uh, I don't have the final numbers for the opening weekend, but uh, I have this article right here from Variety and they wrote following. Box office, Scream 6 makes $5.7 million in previews. The sixth time may be the charm. Scream 6 is heading towards what could be a franchise-high opening at the box office this weekend. The Paramount and Spyglass Media slasher movie made $5.7 million at the domestic box office in Thursday previews. It's expanding from 3,125 domestic theaters to 3,600 on Friday. Nearly 27 years after the first Scream movie terrified moviegoers, the franchise is still going strong thanks to last year's reboot or requel, also titled Scream. The 2022 Scream pulled in 3.5 million in Thursday previews in January 2022 before scaring up a solid 30 million opening weekend. Scream 3 released in 2000, uh, years before some of the younger stars of the newest film uh, were born, holds the record for the franchise's highest opening weekend with $34 million. Now, Scream 6 is looking to take the crown from its earlier predecessors, uh, with an estimated debut between $35 million to $40 million this week. And this is simply amazing, to be honest. Like... That, that is exceptional, to be honest, that Scream 6 is gonna probably make the most out of all the Scream movies. That is really, really cool, you know, and it tells me that, you know, people still love Scream, you know, and they love watching it, and they love paying money to go to see the movie, and that's really awesome, you know, and they essentially love the movie. Now, uh, my Scream 6 uh, review kind of thing uh, is coming out uh, tomorrow. And it's not really a review, but it's more of a, t you know, spoiler talk where I talk about, you know, the movie in general. And, you know, I'll tell you uh, what I like, what I hate, and why I like the movie quite a lot, actually. But this is big. This is really good. You know that Scream 6 is going to make uh, probably the most money out of all the Scream movies. That's that's exceptional. Like that is really really good. You know, Halloween ends could only dreamed of achieving something like that, you know? So, I think that this is absolutely amazing. Now, even the uh, Rotten Tomatoes reviews are for this movie are actually pretty pretty good. Uh, you know, with about 76% uh, from critics and a 93% audience score. That is really strong. That is really strong, and it's also really important that uh, the critics that the critic score is you know kind of high with 76%. That's pretty decent for you know a horror movie, uh, especially like a scream movie. But also uh, you know if you compare this to Halloween Ends or Halloween Kills, this is really good. Like this this looks really really good and really really solid. And yeah, Scream Six. Uh, Scream 6 rules, honestly, <laughs> you know? But now, let's move on to uh, topic number two, and that is a movie called 65. Now, 65 is this new uh, sci-fi movie with uh, Adam Driver, uh, with dinosaurs, and honestly, everything about this movie, I love. I love dinosaurs, 
I love dinosaurs, and I mean it, okay? I love dinosaurs. Uh, I really do like Adam Driver. I think that he's, you know, a really, really good actor. And I love sci-fi movies, so everything about this movie uh, sounds pretty good. And the story essentially is that, uh, you know, humans already discovered... Uh, no, that some humans 65 million years ago crashed on Earth where, you know, dinosaurs were there, you know, obviously. <laughs> and that's essentially like the story of, you know, Adam Driver uh, trying to survive dinosaurs. And that's pretty awesome. That's like pretty, pretty cool. Like, I love that idea, honestly. It sounds so cool. But the movie, surprise, surprise, looks like it's actually bad. Or not, or not bad, but mediocre. I think that's a better way to put it. Mediocre. Because this movie uh, has just 37% uh, critic score and just 61% audience score. And that is just not not really good, you know? Now, I really have to say that, again, the idea of this movie, it just sounds so cool, you know? Dinosaurs, and Adam Driver, and, and, and a sci-fi movie, and, like, we don't get, you know, much movies uh, with dinosaurs anymore. You know, obviously, you know, uh, sometimes we get uh, a new Jurassic World movie, but obviously that trilogy of the Jurassic World movies has now ended. Uh, but we, we don't get much Hel uh, Halloween. <laughs> we don't get much dinosaur uh, sci-fi, or not even sci-fi, but just like dinosaur movies in general. We don't get them too much. And so I was so excited when I saw the trailer for this uh, for the first time. I was like, damn. This looks exceptional, you know? This looks like a movie I would make, you know? This is exactly what I want from a movie. Dinosaurs, guns, sci-fi elements, and Adam Driver. Give it to me. That sounds great. But yeah, it looks like the movie is actually kind of mediocre and my light just died for some reason. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, the rest of this video I'll have to finish it like this, so um, I apologize. <laughs> This is kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is essentially it for all uh, the news from the world of horror this week or from the past week. Uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about Scream 6 making a lot of money at the box office. I think that's amazing. And if the rumors are true and we'll actually get Scream 7 uh, next year, that would be actually, like, really, really good. And that would be just just insane, honestly, you know, getting, like, a new Scream movie every year, uh, that would be, that would be, that would be insane. Anyway, guys, that is it for today, thank you so much for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one, take care as always, and bye.